Hi, it's me, your relatives, Joe Fury in the Storm Team Made Weather Center. Hope you're doing okay. Weather-wise, well, yeah, this summer has just delivered a record number of sunny days. It's almost like living in Southern California or, or middle of Arizona, Sedona, Arizona, where it's just sunny every day. And you don't have to worry about rain. We are worried about the fact that we don't have any rain because we're in a drought situation. Wells are going dry. Farms are, are having a hard, hard time. And of course, your lawn is brown, the fire danger has been high, and we have a storm, an, an anomalous nor'easter that's sitting just off to our south and east that is pounding places like the Cape. 45 mile per hour winds, three plus inches of rain. Yeah, if you have plans to head out there tomorrow or know somebody out there, it's, you know, they need the rain. It's extremely uh, dry. They have an extreme drought out there, uh, but it, it's storming. And of course, boating, don't, don't try that especially out in eastern Long Island Sound and points on east as we head through the next 24 hours at least. And the big question is, can we get the big blob of rain that's sitting on our doorstep to come over us during the day tomorrow? Or is it all going to miss us? So, yes, severe drought, eastern third of the state, uh, and even a little severe drought in parts of western Connecticut. So there's that big green blob. Can it ride its way in here, or are we going to just have a couple of little showers roll around and... Well, one computer model, the European says, oh, we miss out on all that good stuff. We have another model that does the same thing. There'll be a few showers, but most of the time dry and nothing significant. And then there's uh, the, what we call NAM model that's uh, got something a little bit better. Uh, the bottom line, that would not be anything that's gonna really help our drought out. That's basically the drop in the bucket type of rain, but it would be something. And then we have our high resolution model that uh, has it raining when you step out the door tomorrow and then a couple of bands of heavier rain midday into the afternoon. Southwestern area is really not doing much. Uh, but again, even that is not anything overly significant. So bottom line is uh, we're going to see the sun back out up near 80 on Thursday and Friday. It's in the 80s, mid 80s, even upper 80s, sunshine, a warm and pleasant day, still low humidity. So, you know, we just get right back on to the, the fantastic summer weather if you're on vacation Thursday Friday doing great and well this is just amazing you know back on this date 1992 Andrew keep in mind just the letter a starting that year Andrew was forming off the Bahama coast and nobody thought much of it well it turned into a catastrophic cat 5 one of the worst hurricanes ever to hit the US so that's why we got to be real careful as we head our way for the latter portion of, of August into September. Keep in mind, the height of the hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin, meaning the Atlantic and the Gulf, which is very quiet right now, the height of the season is September 10th. So we're heading in that direction. Right now, there's no tropical storms heading towards us, although the one that's off the coast, the folks out in the Cape and the islands are gonna think it's a tropical storm because that's basically what it's doing out there. Eight day forecast, we're praying for the rain tomorrow. Right now, we're gonna say not much, but if it decided it wanted to rain all day tomorrow, I don't think anybody's going to complain because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, low and mid 80s at the beaches, in the 60s at night, and just again, super summer weather for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then there's signs that may be a little unsettled early next week. Look at the 90 degree weather coming our way for uh, probably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, inland. A little more humidity coming up as we go on for the weekend as well. And we've got a great event coming up. On Sunday, Tax-Free Week kicks off Sunday, and we're celebrating with a special back-to-school event at West Farms Mall in West Hartford. Join us Sunday from 11 to 1 at Center Court for a fun, interactive event as you begin your back-to-school shopping. West Farms Mall Sunday, August 21st, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. A lot of your favorite Channel 8 personalities will be out there, myself, Gil, Darren. Uh, so come on out, say hi. And uh, oh, it should be a, a great shopping day. All right. Hopefully tomorrow is a great day and it's wet. Who would have thought we'd be rooting on a rainy day? At this point in time, uh, we're just going to say a few showers. And if it does rain, that'd be great. So therefore, you got to tune in to Gill first thing on Wednesday morning for the very latest update. Hope you're feeling well. Bye.